Hi there, Adam Spencer for the Cancer Council of New South Wales. One of the projects the Council is funding is a pill that looks to be more targeted than traditional chemotherapy with hopefully a lot less side effects. To tell me about it, I'm joined by one of the giants of Australian cancer research, Professor Philip Hogg. How are you going, Phil? Good, thank you, Adam. Good, this, thank you. Th this pill seems almost too good to be true. It initially came about from understanding how cancer cells feed themselves? That's correct. And it was recognised actually some time ago that cancer cells use sugar in a different way than normal cells do. And only recently we started to work out the molecular details of that. What specifically is it about cancer cells that makes them, that, that allows them to, to use sugar in a much more effective way than the healthy cells do? So if you've got a drug that does something to cancer cells but doesn't do it to regular cells, you can attack the cancer cell while the rest of your body remains unaffected by the treatment? Yes, that's the holy grail of, of cancer research and designing molecules uh, that will target just the tumour cells themselves and leave the, other, leave the healthy cells alone. What we did notice when we started working with these compounds in the lab, particularly the second generation molecule, was that uh, it was actually very effective in the lab at targeting both pancreatic and brain cancer cells. And so our long-term plan is to engineer these molecules or understand how we can use them most effectively to target these two particular cancer types. And that's, that's really what, that's the work that the Cancer Council has funded um, over the last five years. What are those moments like? A time in the lab where you look at a set of numbers or you see the colour of something or a result comes back and you think, wow, we've achieved what we were hoping or beyond what we were yeah. hoping. Oh, look, it's, it makes it all worthwhile. I think Einstein said that research is, it's, is you know, it's 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration, and it's absolutely right. Um, but you, you live for these moments as researchers, and it's enormously exciting because it's just discovery at its purest form. Why are brain and pancreatic such good cancers to get good results for? Okay, so these are really the two of the hardest cancers to treat. So with pancreatic cancer, uh, the problem with uh, the, why the treatments are so ineffective is largely because we just get it too late. And brain cancer is another one where just the nature of where it is in your brain uh, makes, you know, introduces all sorts of other sort of challenges in trying to treat it. So in terms of, you know, survival uh, rates, they're, 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 they're probably the worst too. How long before this pill becomes a regular mainstream cancer treatment? Oh, look, it's a question I can't answer, Adam. All I can say is we're working as fast and as hard as we can to get there. But it really will depend on the results of the clinical trial. And you've only got to look at the sort of treatments that people had 20 or 30 years ago compared to today to think, wow, in, in a decade or two, what we might be able to do for people fighting these diseases. Yeah, look, you're absolutely right, Adam. I think cancer, you know, I think we will get to a point with cancer where it'll become a manageable disease. Um, you know, a disease that you will die with, not from. The tough ones will always be a challenge, particularly pancreatic and brain, and it'll probably take us longer to get to that point. So what's your message to the friends of the Cancer Council who fund this research and, and allow you to do what you do? I'd like to sincerely thank the donors. It's your contributions that make what we do possible, and never for a moment doubt that, that the money that you donate is, is not going to a terrific cause. If we're going to get to safer, more effective treatments for this disease, it's your contributions that will make the difference. So thank you.